Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making video number two about MKV Merge in Ubuntu Basics. The first video about MKV Merge showed how to use it in, as a command line interpreter in the terminal. And I'm going to show you that real briefly before going on with a graphical user interface. I've got all of my scripts together here in screencast scripts and I've got MKV merge and I'm going to display it. It's very very simple. You just add together files, file 1 and then behind it it puts file 2 and then file 3 and so on and it adds them together and makes file 4. You can change these names from 1, 2, 3, 4 to anything you want to. And the syntax is pretty simple. You just type in MKV merge dash O for output. And that's all there is to MKV merge as a command line interpreter in the terminal. There is, however, this very beautiful graphical user interface program and I'm going to show you how to work that today. The first thing you want to do is go to the Ubuntu Software Center and open it up and type in MKV Merge. Let me make this smaller here so that you can see it. I'm going to zoom in on it. I just type in MKV Merge and you can see from the green check mark that I already have it loaded and when I tap it it says more information and I will unzoom now temporarily and you can see that it is located in applications sound and video you can go to the website and the website gives you a lot of information. In fact, so much information that you're overwhelmed. There's documentation. There, there's so much stuff in there. I can't interpret it all. It's quite technical. I'll close this out right now. And I'm going to close the Ubuntu Software Center and I'm going to go to applications sound and video and open up MKV merge and it's a very nice looking program I'll demonstrate how it works the first thing you do is add a file and then you're going to put the following files after it but the first one you add the second, third, and so on, you append. The add is used to add additional audio files, subtitles, and things like that. Down here is the output file. And you can change all of those parameters. To demonstrate, I'm just going to open up some of the files that I have made for my YouTube videos and I've made some in Ubuntu basics and here's a whole listing of them I remember I made five in a row for swapping keys around on the keyboard so let me start off by putting in swap keys one and then I'm going to put swap keys two behind it and make one great big video file that is a combination of swap keys 1 followed by swap keys 2. So I'll start off with swap keys 1 open and it puts it in. Now remember I don't hit add to put in the second segment I put in append and let me find swap keys 2 and open 
down here I have got the output file name and I'm just going to start adding the files together by tapping right here where it says start muxing. You can see how fast this program is. This is faster than using a non-linear editor. I will close this and I will close the whole program and here is the file itself that I have created which is swap keys 1 plus swap keys 2. You can see the whole thing is 30 minutes long and it took a very very short time. You will not be able to hear the sound because I have the sound on microphone. I'm going to close this. Uh, I wanted to show you something else with the program. It's called MKV Merge. However, you can merge together other files besides just MKV files. You can for instance use AVI files and so forth. Let me get some up here and I'll show you. I have got a variety of file systems that I used. I've got some here that are AVI, some that are M4V, and some that are MKV. You can merge other than MKV files. The program in that sense is misnamed. However, you can't merge segment 1 AVI followed by, say, segment 1 MKV. They all have to be of the same type within one merge. For instance, I can do this one. This is an AVI file. And I notice they take a bit longer process. Here's the second segment and then I start muxing. Well they, they sure don't take that much longer do they? Close, close, and here it is. And these are the these are 18 minutes worth of two files together, two videos. This is a very good program. You can use it to good advantage. You can also do such things as add additional audio tracks, additional subtitles, and things like that. There are some nonlinear editors that are available for making movies and uh, one of them is called PITV Video Editor and then I've got another one down here called VLMC it's a spin-off of VLC and AVID Mux however I've got to say that MKV Merge does the trick. It is pretty darn fast and you can do things with it that are kind of like fast and dirty. My name is Pop and I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos that I have made, many of them under the heading of Ubuntu Basics. And if this was enjoyable, I Thank you very much.